using a lab scope and a low current amp probe to look at fuel pump current draw is a high tech diagnostic process. All of these bad fuel pumps were found with fuel pump amps testing when regular fuel pressure and volume testing missed them. Look at the wear patterns. Look how the brush had dug into the commentator there. The dark area is where the brushes weren't even making contact. Fuel pressure, fuel volume didn't find it. Amps testing did. And that's why fuel pump amps testing is so valuable. Use a vehicle specific diagram to find where to connect your low current probe. Always use a vehicle specific diagram. In this example, it is easiest to remove the fuel pump relay and use a jumper wire. As you can see here on the vehicle, we remove the relay. It's up there on the top laying on the radiator cap. And then we install that blue jumper wire in place of the relay. And then we put our low amp probe around the jumper wire. You can also place the low current probe down by the fuel pump. Use the easiest to get to location. Don't fight this. Now, start the engine so you can view the current reading on the lab scope, the current waveform on the lab scope. First, when you get your pattern, measure the average current. Compare the current draw to specifications. In this example, the spec is 4 to 5 amps, and you can see that we're at the low end of that. The pump's current draw when it is near the minimum, in this case the minimum is 4 and we're right there, you don't want to fail the pump for being at the minimum. Keep testing because you want to keep this in mind if the engine's running lean and you can't find any other reason, but you just want to keep it in mind. For now, let's just continue testing. Next, after you read the current, look at the difference between the highest and the lowest amps. The difference between the highest and the lowest should not exceed 15% of the total current draw. If the difference is greater than 15%, once again, don't fail the fuel pump right now. You'll want to keep this in mind. But for now, let's keep testing. Now, a dirty fuel filter may cause the difference to be over 15%. We have found that with testing. So you, in this case, you may suspect a fuel filter instead of jumping all into circuit testing. Use the cursors on your scope to measure one revolution of the fuel pump. Calculate the fuel pump's RPM with this one revolution. Now, you can see we have red dotted lines there. We put our cursors in there. We found a pattern that has a signature. It looks the same. And this is the time it takes for one revolution of the pump. In this example, 9.12 milliseconds. Divide 60,000, that's milliseconds in a minute, by the 9.12 milliseconds. And the result, in this case, 6,578, that result is the pump's RPM, how fast it's running. The RPM of the fuel pump should stay between 3,400 and 10,000. I know that's a wide spec, but you're not going to fail it on this alone. Use the three factors from the waveform to evaluate the fuel pump. Current draw and the fuel pump's RPM are the two most inf uh, important factors. Current draw, you know, if the current draw is near the high end of the specification, check the fuel filter. The harder the pump works, the current draw, the higher the fuel pressure volume will be. If the current draw isn't within specifications, go to fuel pump circuit testing. The difference in the highest and lowest amps. Now if the difference is an indication of the fuel pump's internal circuitry, you want to keep this in mind, but don't forget that tip about the fuel filter. It's not a good practice just to replace the pump based on the highest and lowest, just because the pattern's ugly. We've seen ugly patterns where the fuel pump lasted for several thousand, 60,000 more miles. So it's not a good practice to replace it based on this alone. Now, fuel pump RPM. If the RPM is too slow, check current draw. B plus and the ground for the pump. If the RPM is too high, it isn't delivering enough fuel to replace the pump. Fuel pump current waveform testing 
has proven to be one of the most productive tests we have ever used for fuel pump testing. Take the time to learn this procedure. At minimum, measure the current draw with an amp meter like this. Set up your DVOM to measure amps. Remove the relay, place a positive amp meter lead at the B plus terminal of the relay. On some vehicles, the ignition may have to be in the run position. Now, we have your setup right here. Place a negative amp meter lead at the fuel pump terminal of the relay. Look in the center there, we show you a drawing of the relay cavities. You can see the one bottom arrow is pointing to the fuel pump. That's the circuit that goes to the fuel pump on the left, the ignition power there, that top arrow. That's where we're going to get our power to drive the fuel pump. Compare the current draw to specifications. If current draw is out of spec, go to fuel pump circuit testing. If current draw is near the high end of the spec, check for the fuel filter. If current draw is near the low end of the spec, go to fuel pump circuit testing. If B plus and ground are good at the fuel pump with very low amps, the pump is bad. You will now be returned to the test selection menu. Make a selection based on your test results. 